Good day everyone, Professor Maple here. We are playing a new series today. Welcome to episode zero of Primecraft. Now I wanna just start with a heads up here. So Primecraft, this is going to be for the Tim Deuce's adventure map called Primecraft. This is not, I've not been invited to the multiplayer server called my, so called Primecraft. Just to clear that up, uh, I don't want there to be any confusion because when I was researching, not that I did a ton of research, but I did a minimal amount of research when I was uh, setting up this 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 whole thing here, and there apparently I found out there's there's a multiplayer Minecraft server called Primecraft. This is not that. This is Metroid Prime as a Minecraft adventure map. So if you're here for, for multiplayer stuff, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, but if you're here for, for remakes of, of like some of the best GameCube games from, uh, from Nintendo, of course, uh, in Minecraft, that is, that is why we're here. We're playing uh, this adventure map called Primecraft by Tim Deuces. Um, uh, so I guess, I guess we'll start off by saying, why are we doing a, an episode zero of this Let's Play? Well, I've got some admin stuff to get, get uh, kind of taken care of here, um, like explaining that this isn't Primecraft the service, this is, this is Primecraft the adventure map. Metroid Prime in Minecraft Primecraft, okay? Um, we also have, I also want to just kind of get over some, some like administrative stuff, credits, uh, and and uh, explaining some of, some of the settings that aren't really explained in uh, the installation video that the uh, creator of the map has actually rather rather skillfully edited to, to, together. Um, so uh, first things first, though, I wanna I wanna say again, this is a map by Tim Deuces. Um, I, I remember back last fall, fall of 2019. In case you're watching this later. Um, at, I forget, it might have been on Twitter, I think it was on Twitter, I found, or, or I had, I was scrolling through and in my feed there was something about, about Primecraft there, and I, I looked into it and I saw the trailer, oh my gosh, if you, if you played Metroid Prime in, as, as, as a kid in your childhood, um, watching the, the trailer for, for this map, just gave me shivers down my spine. Um, it was really cool, and I couldn't wait to have a good opportunity to uh, to record that. And I haven't really had a good opportunity all winter. Work was busy, and now that uh, COVID-19 is kind of a thing and we're all in lockdown, I've got a little more time because I kind of don't have a job right now. Um, but that's fine. Um, we're we're gonna we're gonna kind of skip over that and hopefully not reference that for the rest of the, uh, the let's play because it's kind of a downer right now. Not gonna lie. Um, what else? What else? What else? We've also got oh yeah so so uh, I I will be linking not only the that that trailer um, that I mentioned that really awesomely done trailer for for this map in the description. Uh, and the descriptions for for each video in this series, um, but I will also be uh, linking uh, the download instructions video. Uh, even though both the trailer and the download instructions video are are linked on the Planet Minecraft download page for the map, uh, but I'll also be linking the Planet Minecraft download page for the map in case you would like to play this map for yourself and. Uh, also, Tim Deuce's uh, uh, YouTube channel and possibly also his Twitter, uh, which I didn't note here, but just in case, he's got some some neat music stuff on there that he's been doing the last little while. So um, go go check him out. Uh, he's got some some neat stuff over there. Um, and so, like, I I know I'm throwing like a ton of links in the description, but I I having seen this map and having. The nostalgia for for the original Metroid Prime, uh, although Metroid Prime Two was my favorite of the three, and hopefully Prime Four will be pretty good. But of course, that's been delayed, and with all the other things going on, who knows how, when that'll ever come out? If it does, um, 
So I, I, I'd asked him uh, if I could do a, a Let's Play of that, and he was like, yeah, sure. Some of the other stuff that I want to kind of go over here is the, the settings. So in the, the, in the installation video, he does mention um, the mods and, and, and whatnot that, that are involved in this, this map, but uh, what are not mentioned in the video itself, but are mentioned in the download instructions that come with the map, uh, but I still want to go over. Uh, just in case you see some something different in my Let's Play, um, are, are, are as follows here. So, uh, first of all, we've, we've got to have it in version 1.12.2. That's, that's kind of a given. Uh, we also want to make sure that we have uh, Forge, and it's a very specific installation of Forge that he's, he's said that, that we need. Tim Deuce has said uh, we want our 14.23.5.2796. So in the video, he highlights that and, and everything. Uh, but uh, he also says in the video not to download any other mods other than maybe Optifine. I'm going to try, as you can see, I've got, I've got the replay mod installed here. So I'm going to, just to make the, the, the Let's Play more interesting. So if you see replays in the Let's Play, that means it's not broken the map and... and uh, I haven't had to start over. Uh, <laughs> if you don't see replays in in this Let's Play, I have uninstalled the replay mod for 1.12.2, and I've also just gone ahead without it because it it has in that case broken the map, or I've been having trouble doing replays with the mod itself. So just a heads up for that. I don't know if that'll work or not. We're going to try it and see what happens there. Uh, okay, so a couple other settings that we have. I, I don't recommend trying the, the, the replay mod un necessarily unless you see that it has worked here. And even then, it's kind of risky. So just use your judgment there. Keep backups, that sort of thing. Uh, what else? We've got uh, render distance. Okay, so now we get to the actual settings themselves. So video settings wise, we want our... Uh, I'm going to have my graphics be fancy. I'm going to have my lighting smooth. GUI scale has to be uh, large. And uh, it's not, not... don't set it to auto. He says specifically not to set it to auto because it'll do that. Or actually no, it'll do something different, but Set it to large, make your life easy. Uh, I'm going to put the particles to all, just for for giggles. Um, even if that may mean that the replay mod doesn't like it later. Uh, let's see, what else? Render distance, that's what I was going to. So render distance, we want set to about 10 chunks. 8 to 10 chunks is what he recommends. I'm going to set it to 10, uh, just in just for for my sake. Uh, music. So we need we need to go to music and sounds. I'm gonna put music around 30% so that you can, for the sake of this let's play you can hear me over the music and it's not too loud. Uh, you if you want the music louder because again this is Metroid Prime's all about isolation and and kind of being on your own in this in this space. So uh, if if you want the music up higher just put it up higher as long as it's above zero because that's the whole point of the ambience mod is that some areas have different music than others and it's very specific for that right uh let's see a resource pack is that the last thing um oh yeah so back into the video settings i forgot that brightness we want around 50 percent uh that's specified as well and then Uh, also, just a reminder that for controls, um, I usually have drop item as L because I just don't drop items very often in Minecraft as a general. Um, you can you can set it to be to be whatever you would like there. Um, advancements, I want that to be Q. I don't know why that's not Q. And is my drop button? Oh, replay mod stuff's interfering here. That's why. Let 
you know what we're just we're just gonna not worry too much about that uh because again it's not really important for things although i do need to make sure to set a couple more options okay so where were we uh music is 30 percent brightness 50 um oh yeah resource packs so uh with the map download comes a resource pack that will basically just make everything look like uh look vaguely metroid prime like so um once we've got that installed we hit done and it should load in our pack there we go wait uh, i just want to triple check large okay cool so that's fine and then uh once we start up the game again in in this edition in this uh, installation uh now that we've got the, the music turned up and everything, it should have the, the, the main menu music play on the menu here. Because I didn't turn up the music until after we have got here, that's as far as I can tell why it's not playing the music now. So anyway, I uh, hope this is helpful for, for setting up the Primecraft experience, the adventure map that we're about to uh, embark on. And I will see you in episode one. Have a good day. Have a good now, and uh, we'll see you in just a little bit here. Goodbye.